Case number 27. Let's verify whether 1 minus cotangent squared theta all over 1 plus cotangent squared theta is equal to an identity sine squared theta minus cosine squared theta. We're going to apply here the Hazard operations, specifically on our left-hand side, to arrive to the expression on our right-hand side. Why do we choose the left hand side? Because we have here cotangent square theta, which could be expressed as a combination of cosine and sine. Before we start, the right hand side is not equal to 1. The Pythagorean identity involving sine square theta and cosine square theta, which is equal to 1, is sine square theta plus cosine square theta. So the right hand side will stay as it is. Now let's go back to the left hand side. We can express cotangent squared theta as the ratio of cosine squared theta over sine squared theta. Okay, so we'll have here 1 minus the cotangent squared theta again is cosine squared theta over sine squared theta. This is just the expression for our numerator. Okay, so this is equal to our left hand side the denominator could also be expressed in that manner 1 plus you will have here cosine squared theta okay all over sine squared theta here as well okay now from this we are going to apply as our operations to arrive to our right hand side the next thing we could do here is to combine the expressions on our numerator and denominator separately by looking for LCD. We know that 1 can be expressed as 1 over 1 or any integer can be expressed as a fraction of denominator 1. With that, the LCD of our numerator and including our denominator is the product of 1 and sine squared. Hence, it is sine squared theta here. That's the LCD. Next, so, uh, we're going to come up now with our uh, terms in our numerator here. Sine squared theta divided by 1 is 1 times 1, you have here, uh, sorry, sine squared theta divided by 1 is sine squared theta times 1. So we have here sine squared theta. Then, for the second term, sine squared theta divided by sine squared theta is 1 times cosine squared theta. So you have here cosine squared theta. If you're not convinced with this, of course, you could always check. Pair this two. Sine squared theta divided by sine squared theta is 1. The same with our first term. If we're going to pair with this, it's just the same as our second term. What needs to be done to complete this is the operation here, minus. Okay? That's for our numerator alone. Let's do the same thing for our denominator. Again, the LCD here is still sine squared theta. Because you're just so going to multiply denominator 1 times sine squared theta here. Same process as earlier. Sine squared theta divided by 1 is sine squared theta. Times 1 is sine squared theta. Okay? Then sine squared theta divided by sine squared theta is 1 times cosine squared theta. You have here this one here. And of course, plus. Before we proceed, a portion of this expression is already similar to the right-hand side. This here, sine squared theta minus cosine squared theta, similar to the right-hand side. That's our goal. We just need to come up with the next operations to return to that. And as you can see, sine squared theta here plus cosine squared theta is just equal to 1. Right? That's the Pythagorean identity I mentioned earlier. But let's just multiply it in the meantime and let's look into a separate process or let's not give a value for it equal to 1 okay just for the purpose of discussion and proceed to the next step we are now dividing rational expressions we have here rational expression rational expression we can use here the keep change flip method 
Okay? Keep change method is uh, used when dividing fractions and rational expressions are, are behave like fractions. So let's use that. Keep change method uses this. Keep the numerator or the dividend. So you have sine squared theta minus cosine squared theta over sine squared theta. Okay. So we keep this one here. Keep. Okay. Then change. Change the operation from division into multiplication. Okay. We change that. Okay. Keep. Change. Flip. We're going to reciprocate or flip our denominator, our divisor. You will have here sine squared theta over this one here. Again, it's just equal to 1, but that's the purpose for discussion. Let me just try to add it here as well. Right, we're going to do it at the same time with the other operations just for the last step. So we have kept, we changed the operation, and we flipped our divisor. Next thing here is to cancel this by cancellation law. We have sine squared theta here. But this can be cancelled to this, okay? Because this is a binomial expression. Nor canceling cosine and cosine here. No, because they are both binomial expressions. So these are the only terms that will be cancelled out. And then again, we know this entire expression here to be equal to 1, right? That's just equal to 1. This would mean the final form is just this term. Times 1, divide by 1, divide by 1. So the final form here is the sine squared theta minus the cosine squared theta. And this is actually the right-hand side on our original equation. And with this, applying the operations, we have now verified the given identity. That the ratio of 1 minus cotangent squared theta and 1 plus cotangent squared theta is equal to sine squared theta minus cosine squared theta. This case for missing identity is now closed. If you may, to be ready for some new cases, subscribe now. Hmm.